For those of you who don't know me and today I'm going to show you what I'm eating on a hot summer's day it's gonna be about 27 degrees here in Sweden today and maybe where you are from that's not that hot but here in Sweden it's super hot and some of you were asking me sort of um, for recipes for things to eat when it's really hot outside so I'm hoping that this will inspire you a little bit that I'm showing you things that I like to eat when it's really hot and I'm going to also be doing something that a few of you have been asking me for that you are interested in seeing and that's working on my macrame wall hanging. I started this project, it's embarrassing to say, but it's eight months ago now I think or seven months or something like that and it's just been sitting in one of our rooms. I'm making a really big uh, macrame wall hanging for our living room and I thought I should show you because you've been asking but also really work on it because I haven't and I would like to finish it of course. So I'm going to be working on that all day, showing you some glimpses of it. But first things first, I'm going to make breakfast and I'm making, or I actually already made Bircher muesli and I made it yesterday. So uh, I'm going to show you, I filmed yesterday so I'm going to show you now how I made it. It's really easy it only takes a few minutes to prepare it's got some good stuff in there it's got oats and seeds and I put some apple in for a little bit of sweetness and flavor and uh, yeah it's a really easy way to have something to eat straight away in the morning if you're on the go if you need to get out of the house fast you don't have time to make breakfast in the morning and uh, also it's really nice right now I think to eat something cold I really like oats in the morning and I usually eat them hot but right now I prefer them cold and this is how I like to do them so yeah now that we're back in real time let me show you uh, how I put together my breakfast bowl breakfast in the container you make it in but I like to put mine in a bowl I like to make uh, more than one portion at once uh, for Rob and myself or for today and tomorrow so yeah I put mine in a bowl and today I topped mine with some tahini which I really love and then I topped it with some plums that we actually picked in a friend's garden which is very sweet of them so thank you if you're watching and uh, with some uh, wild blueberries that again we actually picked outside my mom's house in the forest there it's been a really good berry year here in Sweden I don't know how it is where you are you can share it with us in the comments I'd love to know but yeah I'm just gonna eat this breakfast enjoy it and then I'm gonna have my morning walk before I start on my macrame that's my new ritual is to always get myself ready eat a good breakfast and then have a nice walk so I'll take you along
we're back from the walk and it's time to start working on my wall hanging and the last time you saw it it was in the first vlog from this apartment this room was then brown <laughs> we've painted it and uh, this wall hanging was just uh, basically strings hanging from a pole so as you can see I've started working on the top sections and I've worked with double half hitch knots to create the sort of top border and the lower border and then in between I've done square knots and I'm going to keep working with double half hitch knots now to create a pattern and continuing to bring this pattern down and uh, maybe I can put in an image here of what it is that I'm going for roughly and you can see and I'm hoping we'll get far today we'll see how it goes it does take quite a long time to do these knots but I am excited to keep working on it and showing you so let's go progress I'd say on my wall hanging like I said it takes a minute and uh, my arms get a little bit tired so I'm ready for some lunch that's for sure and um, I made something yesterday that I'm gonna eat for for lunch among other things so this is a chilled green pea soup and it might sound a little strange but it's really yummy and refreshing on a hot day like this so I'm gonna have that I'm gonna make a little salad and I am also gonna have some toast with hummus so I actually filmed yesterday when I made this I'm gonna send you back in time again to see exactly what I did simple and straightforward it literally takes like five minutes to make so it's easy to prep and it's really good to have on hand on a day like this when you want to get a lot of other things done like with me and this wall hanging and yeah let's put my plate together of my uh, food I just wanted to say that the veggies I'm using are leftovers from the live stream we did a couple of days ago and I just want to say thanks so much to everyone who showed up I really enjoyed it and I think a lot of you did too and I hope uh, I hope you did and I look forward to doing more soon and I also added some tofu to the salad and some sesame seeds and now I'm gonna make my toast or I'm gonna 
prepare my toast I guess and I just wanted to show you this uh, bread uh, it's a gluten-free bread that I made at home and uh, I think this is the like first recipe I've ever made it's not my recipe but the, that I've um, made at home or used at home that I really like so I'm gonna share it in the description box with you guys if you want to try and make it at home it's really easy it doesn't take a long time it uses yeast uh, so you need to let it rise a little bit but um, yeah it's really good so um, let's keep going with the lunch. <laughs> slow progress on the wall hanging I made one overlapping row of double half hitch knots and I've almost finished another row of the same kind of knot so I have about two more rows of that I think and then some square knots and then another row of double half hitch knots I think I'm saying that right you can correct me if you know if I'm wrong anyways Rob delivered me a smoothie for a snack and it had banana, blueberries, dates, peanut butter, uh, soy milk and I think that's about it. It's really yummy, it's perfect for this heat that's building in this room which is now filled with sunlight but um, yeah I think it's about 5.30 in the afternoon now I'm going to work for about another hour on the wall hanging and then I'm gonna go make some dinner. Rob's actually gonna prepare a doll that we're having and it's gonna be from a YouTube channel, a recipe from a YouTube channel I found the other day called Bong Eats. So I'll link that in the description box for you if you want to try out the doll recipe. I won't be showing you how to make it because Rob's gonna do it for me. And then I'm also gonna make a chana chat. I think that's how you say it. It's a South Indian, uh, a South Asian dish with uh, chickpeas. But yeah, I'll show you in a bit. For now, I'm gonna drink my smoothie and then work some more on the wall hanging. and crafts it really takes much longer than you think to tie this wall hanging but I'll try to share some pictures maybe on the community page so that you can see when it's finished or when I've made some progress because um, I think this will be the last vlog where I include this wall hanging and working on it but now we're ready to make dinner I'm really hungry Rob's made doll like I said and I'll link that uh, recipe down below now I'm gonna make chat it's like a um, I actually think it's more like a street food or a snack but I like to eat it pretty much anytime it's um, 
it's you eat it cold you don't cook anything so it's really nice for summer and uh, it's got like you can do it with many different um, bases kind of thing uh, I've tried with potato and chickpeas and I like both of them but I know there are plenty of other varieties so just google it and you'll see I can link uh, this uh, specific combination in the description box for you uh, there are two sort of special things that I can't find in my supermarket that I have to go to a dedicated store to find and it's a <clears throat> spice mix first of all it's called chat masala and um, yeah it's just a mix of spices that you um, that you use in the dish that's uh, particular for this uh, dish and then to sprinkle on top and this is what I really really love about this dish is this like crunchy um, I don't even know what to call it. It's a kind of a snack and it looks like this. I hope you can see uh, and it's called sev but I think this is a type of sev that I bought. It's called bujia or bujia or something like that. B-H-U-J-I-A and it's a quite a small uh, fine little crispy snack that you sprinkle on top of the dish that just uh, brings it to a whole nother level I think and yeah I'm excited to show you this I really enjoy it and I hope you will try it I've also made a green chutney to go on top which is really simple I just pop stuff in my blender and whiz it up and it's got coriander mint ginger garlic lemon juice and salt and cumin and uh, that's it you just blitz it up and a little bit of water if you need to and uh, it's a really bright and fresh chutney i'll link the recipe i used down below for that as well but now let's just make the dish and get to eating i'm really hungry <laughs> on the doll I'm excited to finish my bowl and we're gonna eat it just like a soup on the side to the chat or is the chat a side to the soup I don't know but of course you could um, eat the doll on top of rice and you could also make other sort of curries to have with it but yeah we're keeping it pretty simple and you might think I'm crazy to eat soup in the middle of this heat but I actually really like this kind of uh, uh, spicy food when it's hot with a lot of uh, yeah, flavor coming through so I think we'll be okay and uh, yeah I'm gonna leave you for this video I hope you enjoyed it we've actually got a uh, Skype call with some friends so I'm gonna eat uh, with them but yeah I hope you enjoyed the video I look forward to seeing you in the next one and remember I'll link all the recipes in the description box take care